Welcome back to the Little Reef. Today's video is I'm going to attempt to cut up and frag my Zoa colony. Long story short is I hate the shape of it and the rock that it's been formed on. Um, there's three different types of Zoas there on the colony. Right here. Um, I'm going to cut it into two pieces and cut away some of the dead rock in the middle um, and then there'll probably be some odd ones that are in the middle in the way which we're then going to cut up and put on our frag plugs I've got a few just so I've got enough um, we will be coral dipping the plugs in the second bowl there just some random bits that I've got um, whenever you're fragging zoas ideally you always want to wear eye protection um, and gloves, make sure it doesn't get in your eyes, any cuts or anything like that. Uh, zoanthids do contain palytoxin, which, or can contain palytoxin, which is like the second or third most toxic thing known to man. Just be safe, make sure they don't squirt you or anything, so uh, goggles and gloves are a must. Other than that, that's pretty much the basics. I've just got some disgusting old uh, wire cutters that I'm going to use to just cut some of the bits of rock away. Doubt I'll need the hacksaw, but just in case. And then we've got our glue for um, the frag plugs, dip, got some tweezers so we can uh, put the polyps on plugs if, if we've got some. So we've got that as well. We've got the razor blade to cut the heads off, well not, sorry, cut the base of the polyps. There we go. I've never done this before. Could go terribly wrong. Could kill a 60 pound colony. Apparently they're quite strong, so should be okay. There we go. So the colony's broke up. And we've got four biggish size pieces. And then um, probably five to ten polyps or so. Redipping it because I did notice a few little worms that had been well buried in the colony that the dip didn't get to last time. Here we go. It's one relatively successful fragging session. Managed to cut out a lot of the uh, unused rock that was kind of just dead, didn't have zoas growing on it or hadn't reached that far. You see the amount of crap in the uh, tub, little things that came off. I found some interesting, weird little things, but um, there we go. All sorts of random shapes and sizes. I've done some standing up on a bit of rock still. Small little plugs. A couple of big ones that are still on the original rock that I've just cut the crap back. But there we go. I think it should be a lot better to work with now. So we'll get them back in the tank and then I'll show you. All done. Wait and see. Hopefully they open all up again and they're okay and I haven't killed them. But there we go. We've now got six big frags plugs of them, whatever you want to call it, rather than one big rock that I couldn't work out where I wanted. A bit of luck, that'll add a nice bit of colour to the front and that'll be the start of the Zoa Garden now. There's three, round, three different types in here, so I don't know what's what now, I've cut it up, we'll see when they start to open again, but um, then coming closer to the front of the glass and fill the gaps and so on, we'll have some hopefully some more fancy ones. Fill it all out, that whole sand at the front here, all with uh, with a zoa garden. Should look cool, hopefully. Anyway, that's the quick end of that one. Just a quick video. Hope you enjoyed. Um, as always, please like, comment and subscribe and share to everybody.